Last but not least. Uh, oh. Yes, he does. And I'll tell you why he needs an introduction. I'm going to tell you why. Because I can go one of two routes. Okay, I can break down like, like I have. Or I can tell you what I think the bottom line is with this kid. All right, I'm going to go with that. Did a pregame radio show with, with the Maryland announcer, and, and he's, he's really, he's, he coached, so he, he knows a lot. And he said something in the pregame interview. I did my interview with Don Fisher, and then I did it with him. And he said, I think Yogi Ferrell is one of the most unappreciated players that I've ever seen in college basketball. And unfortunately, I had to agree with him because it put it in perspective for a minute. I don't feel that way. I don't think anybody in this room feels that way. But, and I guarantee you that the competitors that face him don't feel that way. But, there's no reason whatsoever that he shouldn't be appreciated to the highest level. He came in a winner from high school he was a winner and a champion his freshman year. He's leaving his senior year as a winner. He's got nothing but better, nothing but better, day in and day out here, day in and day out. Okay. He is one of the great competitors that I've ever, ever been around. He's as headstrong as anybody I've ever been around. But he's also one of the absolute smartest basketball players that I've ever had the privilege of coaching. And what he did this year is he took that competitiveness, he took that headstrong, he took that intelligence, and he matched it up with an unyielding and unprecedented work ethic. And he carried his team with him. And he carried his coaches with him. And he made them better every day. Every day. Every day. And along the way, he got a lot better because of it. So maybe he's unappreciated in certain areas, but there's gonna be an NBA team that's gonna take him and they're gonna appreciate him just like you did. And and he will do, last thing, he will do for his next team what he has done for Indiana if he continues to understand that he's got a lot of gifts. And the greatest gift that he's got is the ability to share it with other people. And that is exactly why he's a champion. That is exactly why he's leaving with the accolades. I don't know how the voting is going to turn out, but I tell you what, I've done this a lot of years. I wouldn't trade him for anyone in the country. Not anyone. Kevin Yogi Farrell. I'm a little short, I'm sorry. They told me not to. They told me not to take the mic off. That's why I didn't want to do that. Um, one thing I got to say is, you know, the reason I came back is for this reason right here. You know, us being Big Ten champs. You know, I definitely wanted to come back and leave a legacy. You know, I wanted to be left as a winner, a four-year guy that gave my all to Hoosier Nation. Uh, <laughs> love you too. And you know, that's why I came back because of you guys. You guys have been so great to me, to our team. You know, all four years I've been here, everything we went through, all the adversity we went through, you guys stuck behind us. And you know, I feel like we definitely appreciate that. You know, next, I definitely would like to thank God. I mean, he's blessed me in so many different ways. I've met so many outstanding people throughout my four years of college. 
So uh, if it wasn't for him, I feel like I wouldn't be in the position I'd be in. You know, next, I want to thank the coaches, man. You know, they're, they're a special bunch, and it's like what Coach Crean says. We've got basically all head coaches on our team. We've got Coach Buck, Coach Martin, Coach Judson. You know, the, the, the smarts of them is, is just crazy. You know, they see things that I don't even see out there, and I agree with them. And, you know, we've got Coach Buck, who's, man, he, he can shoot it. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's definitely true. He might be one of the best shooting coaches you've probably ever seen. Uh, you've got Coach Justin, who's the defensive specialist. I'm telling you, man, you know, him playing at Illinois, <sighs> you know, he, he came up with a 39-9 for us, which is uh, the field goal defensive percentage that we want to play at each game. You know, we've got a high percentage of winning if we get that. You know, Coach Martin coming from the NBA, bringing his NBA smarts to our team. Uh, you know, that's something great. So, you know, all the coaches have been great for us, and, you know, they've stuck behind us. And, you know, Coach Crean, uh, you know, when I committed here my junior year, you know, I remember sitting back in one of those rooms with my dad and, you know, my dad told Coach Crean, you know, make sure you take care of my son. And I feel like Coach Crean has done that. And, you know, it's definitely been a fun ride with Coach Crean. Um, you know, he's a special coach. You know, he, he's done so many things for me, and, you know, we've been through a lot. We have, but, you know, the main thing is we stuck together through all the adversity, and I feel like that's what family does. And, you know, he's a part of my family. I'm a part of his, and, you know, I'm going to keep in touch with Con Coach Green definitely for the rest of my life. You know, next, I want to thank my team right here, man. I feel like this has been the most fun year for me. You know, you could probably think freshman year would be, uh, you know, a freshman coming in. But, you know, it's kind of like what Max said. I feel like the way we're, we're bonding right now, you know, our connectivity is, you know, off the charts, I feel like. And I feel like this year we can do special things. And it's crazy, man. I've, I've, I've fought with some of my players, man. On the, they remember, but uh, Troy Williams is one of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Troy Williams. Uh, I don't know where OG's at, but, you know, that's, that's what family does, man. You know, we fight sometimes, and, you know, we're family off the court. That's it. So, uh, you know, I just want to thank my team, you know, for making this last year as, as special as it can be. And, you know, hopefully we're not done. You know, next, I'd like to thank a very special lady. Uh, it's my girlfriend, Darian Barnett. Stand up. Stand up. Give him a wave. Give him a wave. <laughs> huh? Come up here. Come on. <laughs> hey. Yeah, uh, she's been taking care of me a lot. Um, you know, those late night massages. <laughs> Definitely need those. <laughs> no, but you know, she's done a lot for me and you know, I thank her. Um, and you know, I, I love her. That's, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> And, you know, I'd like to thank my family. You know, I feel like they're, they're my biggest supporters. You know, my dad, Kevin Sr., Caleb Farrell, Kelsey Farrell, Chloe Farrell, Libby Farrell. You know, they're, they're definitely my biggest supporters. You know, I can remember um, playing AAU Nationals in, where was that, Memphis? I think Memphis in third grade. And we've got the pictures. We've got Kelsey and Chloe in Indiana Elite cheer uniforms, actually. And they're on the sidelines cheering for me, man. I, I can remember that to this day. Um, they come to every away game. You know, my mom, with her being a doctor, it's kind of hard for her. 
so she tries to make it out as much as possible. But, you know, I know my dad has made it. I don't know what away game uh, he's definitely missed. So, you know, I just want to I just want to thank them. And, you know, even though they're my biggest supporters and my biggest critics, too. Uh, I remember I had a bad game, bad shooting game, and my mom texts me, you better get your butt in the gym. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I did exactly that, because you, you got to listen to your mama, remember that. <laughs> so, um, you know, I've, I've had a very fun four years, and I feel like if I can never leave Indiana, I feel like I never would. You know, you guys make it so special for me. And, you know, I've just had a lot of memories, and this is something that nobody could ever take away from me. You know, me winning two Big Ten championships in four years. Uh, I think that just says a lot about you know, the coaching staff and their belief in our team, myself just sticking, sticking with everything through the ups and downs. But, you know, I feel like this is a special place in my heart, man, and, you know, I'm, I'm definitely never going to forget it. Before we cut these nets down, before we cut these nets down, please stay with us. I want you to give one more shout out to the people that we never replace the parents. It's not what we want to do is we want to expand and be secondary to that. But what you're looking at is a group of guys, okay, from beginning to the end, all right, that makes our job that much more fun. And that much more easy because they are raised by great families. Let's hear it for all the families of our players. Before we cut these nets, thank you from the very beginning in the exhibitions, the Austin P game, the Eastern Illinois game, all the way down to the Maryland game for sticking with us. We'll see you in Indianapolis and beyond. Thank you for everything. Thank you.